Welcome to this video, my dear students, in which we are going to complete our implementation of NAT64 and DNS64. In this lesson, we are going to implement a dynamic, stateful NAT64 that will provide us with one-to-one -one mapping of IBV6 addresses to IBV4 addresses. Once we configure it correctly, any router, any host in IBV6 segment can communicate with any router or any host with IBV4 segment using the IB addresses because NAT64 provide a mechanism to communicate only by using the IP addresses. So let us get started. In NAT64 I will do the configuration interface GI1 which is the first interface here okay I will give a description this interface will face the IBV6 so I will give this description interface facing IBV6 enable the NAT64 on this interface so NAT64 enable okay very good now the NAT64 is enabled on this interface only which is GI1 I'll go to the second interface which is GI2 give a description of interface facing IBV4 this is the interface here so it will face the IBV4 okay and enable the NAT64 okay that's all for the interfaces now we will create the access list so exit from the interface configuration then IBV6 access list the name of the list is NAT64 ACL access list actually this command will define an IBV6 access list it will help us to filter the IBV6 initiated traffic flows that are allowed to create the NAT64 state so we don't need for example to allow all the hosts in the IBV6 net, uh, network address to access IBV4 net, network addresses I can filter by utilizing the IBV6 access list so now I'm entering the configuration mode of IBV6 address list I will permit IBV6 all addresses which is 2001 DB8 colon DDAA all addresses from the two networks this network 2001 DB8 DDAA 12 as well as this network which is 2001 db8 ddaa11 any okay that's good now exiting the access list configuration mode now i want to want to complete the nat64 configuration so i need to enable the NAT64 
IBV6 to IBV4 address mapping by creating the prefix. I will use my prefix, not the default one, which is 2003, which is 2020, colon, colon, and length is 96. Okay, this will enable the mapping of IBV6 to IBV4 address and providing the what the prefix okay now to define the stateful NAT64 IBV4 address pool so NAT64 V4 pool the name of pool is pool 1 and it will consist of one seven two dot twenty dot zero dot ten dot ten and up to one seven two dot twenty dot ten dot two hundred okay this is the pool of v4 pool named as pool one and it will start from this ibv4 address and end by this ibv4 address now to dynamically translate the v6 to v4 and the list is nat 64 dash acl which is already created here so i'm using it okay and the pool to map the v4 pool to map the address from the access list is named as pool one and it is already created over load okay that's all for the configuration end so what we did actually we give a description for the interfaces and enable the NAT64 on both interfaces then we created the access list of IBV6 address addresses that will uh, allow to create the mapping from IBV6 to IBV4 and we created also a V4 pool started from this address and ends by this address and we called it pool 1 and this is the dynamically translates an IBV6 address to an IBV4 address so it will take any address in this list and map it to a IB to an IBV4 address from pool named as pool 1 so let us do the verification I'm going to enable the ICMP debugging debug in IBV6 in, in DC in DHCP v6 here we have I, uh, IBV6 traffic so I will debug I will enable IBV6 ICMP okay and in DHCP v4 here we have IBV4 protocol so I will debug 
I will enable ICMP for IPv4. Okay, that's good. So now from the, for example, this router, I will try to ping this router. So from DHCP v6, I will try to ping DHCP v4. DHCP v4 has 172.20.0.1 IBV4 address. So how can I ping it? In DHCP v6 ping, I will put the prefix that is configured for the NAT64 which is 20 20 then colon colon then I need to specify the IBV4 address of this router in hexadecimal so 172 equal to AC in hexadecimal 20 equal to 14 in hexadecimal then colon zero is zero so I I'm not going to write it and one is one in hexadecimal okay you can see that the ping the ping has success rate of 80 if I repeat it, I should get 100%. Yes, look, now this success rate is 100%. And I send echo request to this IBV6 address, which is, you know, this is the prefix that I already configured it for the NAT64. And this is the IBV for address translated in or I mean written in hexadecimal let me check what is happening here in IBV4 router here I received request from this from this IBV4 address which is fake actually fake IBV4 address it is because I, I did not ping from this IBV4 address. I ping from IBV6 address, but the address of the DHCB V6 router is translated uh, into this IBV4 address. Okay, so the packet is initiated from this IBV4 address let us do another ping but now i will do it from r2 to this pc this pc which is pc1 has has 172.30.0.11 ib v4 address so i will try to ping it from r2 which is IBV6 router ping I will write the prefix that is already configured for the NAT64 okay which is 2020 colon colon then 172 is AC in hexadecimal 30 is 1E in hexadecimal colon zero i'm not going to write it and 11 is b in hexadecimal okay i get 80 percent if i repeat it i should get 100 percent yes now i can ping from r2 pc1 by using IBV4 address embedded in IBV6 address and the prefix is 2020. Another command that I can use to verify the 
not 64 which is enable okay let me bing before then i will use it i will re-ping this one which is ac one four zero one that means i will try to ping this interface okay now the success rate is 100 percent let me show here the not 64 translation okay this command show me the dynamically created ibv6 addresses you can see here the ibv4 address which is 172.30.0.11 is created like that this is the dynamically ibv6 address created for the translate the ibv4 address which is 2020 colon colon ac 1e colon b and i have another dynamic ibv4 address translated into ibv6 address which is 2020 colon colon ac 14 colon 1 and this is the original ibv4 address okay that is good so far now we have nat64 configured in this router and from the ibv6 network i can ping any uh, host or router in ib v4 network by using the ip address only in next video we will enhance our dns server here the uponto server to act as dns 64 that means from any host here I can ping any host in this segment, in IBV4 segment, by using the names instead of the IBV4 address. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.